Okay guys, so before we get going to the gym, I would love to thank Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Cheers. So AG1 by Athletic Greens is essentially all your vitamins and minerals mixed into one. Taking um, those like capsules that I would take every single day, it's like you don't know if they're actually properly working together in your body for you. So each scoop of AG1 is actually nine health products mixed into one. So which is equivalent of taking a multivitamin, a probiotic, your minerals, and so much more. I actually, this is my pill thing that I was taking. And it's just like a lot to take every day. And it's like I honestly hate swallowing pills. And yeah, I just love how it's so easy. It literally takes me less than a minute to make it in the mornings. And it just makes me feel so good because I know that I'm getting my vitamins and minerals like right straight thing in the morning on an empty stomach it's also so good for your gut health and immunity it contains dairy free probiotics that really help your gut but yeah it's good for so many things energy endurance recovery brain health drinking this shot in the morning just makes me feel really energized and clear throughout the day like i feel like it just minimizes my brain fog and it just helps me focus better and getting my tasks done and everything because it just gives me that natural energy that my body needs and craves and in terms of the taste i know that this is something that you'd be like ew that's green that's gross but trust me it is actually really i look forward to the taste of this it is so good i don't even know how to describe it to you but i love it it's so good. I'm definitely going to get Joel on this and drinking this every day because he's really into nutrition and health and everything. So I know he's going to really like this. But yeah, you have to refrigerate it after opening it, by the way. So don't forget to do that if you guys get it. But the packaging is just so cute. Like, it's just so aesthetic. I love opening this in the morning, making my cute little drink. It's just like something to look forward to in the morning. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in checking out Athletic Greens, click my link down below to get a one-year um, supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs free with your first purchase. The thing that I've learned recently, you guys, um, after starting to shop at Whole Foods, getting more organic stuff, is that you really can't put a price tag on your health. Like, especially just when I was sick for that one week, I really realized how important my health is. So investing in better foods and vitamins like this, it's just so worth it for your long-term health and for your body. So anyways, let's head to the gym and thank you so much to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check them out if you guys are interested. Let's go. I am filming a Monday motivation video today. Just in case you guys need some extra motivation because I know I do sometimes and today I have to get like a lot of shit done. So hopefully that's motivating. This morning I wanted to wake up at 6 a.m. And I literally set my alarm and everything and then I realized when I woke up that it was completely dark outside And I was like, oh my god, like I can't wake up when it's dark outside because then that's like, how am I gonna film? So I was like, eh, I'll sleep in an extra hour and a half So then I ended up sleeping in more Which is fine because I honestly hate waking up when it's dark outside It just feels like the middle of the night and it's just not the vibe That's why I really want to get one of those sunrise alarm clocks like so badly Because I already have a hard, a hard enough time waking up as it is and when you add like darkness on top of that like when it's dark in the morning that just makes it a hundred times worse so i'm think i'm gonna get one pretty soon like i really want one also side note you guys is it just me or is literally everybody getting pregnant right now like julia just sent me a post on instagram and if you guys used to follow makeup by mandy 24 on youtube she used to be like one of my favorite youtubers back in the day she came out that she's pregnant and i was like holy shit that is so unexpected also molly may um rosie from sophia grace and rosie uh, no, sorry, Sophia's one is pregnant, not Rosie. But like, what the hell? But good for them. Obviously, I'm happy for them. But it's just crazy. Like, I just feel like everybody is getting pregnant right now. And it's insane. Because it's like people around my age. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, I don't feel ready to have a baby. So it's just weird when like people around your age are getting pregnant. Um, because I guess now that I'm in my 20s, it's like 
it's gonna be happening more than I expected to because we're getting older, just like people getting married, getting engaged. But it's not actually weird because I'm in my 20s and I always forget that like as you grow older, this shit happens. Okay, anyways, I just got to the gym. I was just eating banana bread on the way because I didn't eat anything. Usually I eat after the gym, but I was just too hungry and I'm like, I need to eat something, it's already 10 o'clock. But you know those days where you just feel overwhelmed with so many tasks to do? That is me today. I have a lot of like big tasks that I need to get done. Um, and so it's just like kind of daunting on me right now. And I know it's gonna be fine. Like I know I'm gonna get everything done. But it's like just in the back of my head. Like I have to do this today, I have to do that today. Like so much shit to get done. There's just a lot to check off on my to-do list. We are going to take a magic mind shot together before we go in. This is just like a matcha energy shot. Cheers. The weather is also starting to get so gloomy. Which, in a sense, I like because we get to wear like cute jackets and stuff like that. Like, style's good, it's cozy, it's fall vibes, winter vibes. But on the other hand, it's like it kind of sucks at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, days are shorter, gloomy, not as motivating. So, that's why I'm making this Monday motivation. Anyways, time to go. <laughs> okay, I just got home. Dishes need to be unloaded, so that is the first chore of the day. So I'm just gonna clean the kitchen, put these away, and then we're gonna make breakfast, eat it, and then I'm gonna shower. breakfast you guys saw how i just made this um pumpkin cream cold brew i tried my best but this is just literally a bagel with two hard-boiled eggs and i smushed them and i made like an egg salad in the middle um and then it's just on a bagel but so yummy i can't wait to eat this <laughs> So I just got to Whole Foods and we're gonna go grocery shopping. I really wanna make this white um, chicken chili, I think it's called. It's a recipe from Half Baked, Har Half -baked Harvest or something like that, um, that I really wanna try. So I need to get like some groceries in general and just the ingredients for the chili tonight. You guys, I tend to do this thing where something will happen to me during the day that's like negative. And I know I preach this. I'm like, don't let something negative ruin your day. And like, I preach it so much, but it's like sometimes I really just need to take my own freaking advice and listen to it. Something happened with like the, del the delivery courier today that happens all the time. And it just like annoys me so much. Like instead of taking the time to just like buzz me and then they can come up to my floor, they just say that I'm not there and then they leave me a note and then I have to go pick it up. Anyways, that happened to me today. And I honestly was so mad about it because it just keeps happening and I just have to freaking stop getting mad about it and letting that type of shit ruin my day. And it's not like it ruined my whole day. Like I'm over it. Like I kind of breathed it out and it's like so stupid for me to get so mad about something like that because in the grand scheme of things, that's like the dumbest and most privileged thing to get mad about ever. And I just need to realize that. But I just wanted to come on here and share, like, be honest with you guys, because it's just so easy to get mad about the stupidest things during your day and letting that ruin your vibe, letting that ruin the rest of the day for you. I'm taking my own advice, and I need to listen to myself sometimes because it's hard sometimes to keep, like, that positive attitude running throughout your day even when shit, bad shit happens to you. But it's, like, an important lesson to be learned, too, for me, that, like, I just have to get better at not letting shit affect me that much. And obviously, it's impossible to, like, consistently 24 7 only radiate positive energy because shit happens and like we have we're human we have emotions but after you experience those emotions it's just important to just like snap out of it and be like okay done for the day we're good we're happy again it's fine like we already were sad about it or mad about it or whatever yeah i just thought that i'd share because it's a lesson for me and hopefully it could be a lesson for you so anyways let's go grocery shopping <laughs>
just finished grocery shopping and we are on the way home. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it is raining pretty heftily. It's kind of cozy. Um, I don't mind it at all because we haven't had rain in so long. But the grocery store that I went to, it was under, whoa. I don't know if you guys heard that, but a huge thing of rain just fell in my car from the overpass thing. Um, anyways, but the grocery store that I went to, the parking was underground, so I didn't even have to go out in the rain because obviously where I park, park my car in my apartment is underground too, so I literally didn't even have to go out in the rain, which is so nice, which is why I actually wore my Uggs because um, I haven't sprayed them yet. I really want to put like um, a protectant spray on them just for the rain because it rains a lot here and Uggs get dirty and disgusting so fast especially when they get wet like they never dry properly and so it's so important to spray them with like um, a waterproof spray or something just so that they like look better and last longer so i still need to do that so i've been only been wearing my uggs and it's like dry and i knew that i didn't have to walk outside so i was like perfect time but yeah i'm gonna give you guys a haul when i get home i'm really excited to make the chili tonight but oh my god i have so much work to do when i get home too honestly moving out is like the best thing ever living on our own like with me and joel is the best thing ever but like it's a lot to think about because you are running the household you have to think about dinner every day you have to think about grocery shopping like it's so much more to think about than just living with your family i mean i love it like i love doing it like i honestly really do love grocery shopping and making my own meals and stuff but it's definitely just very time consuming is what i'm saying so it's like half of the day consists of like doing stuff for like grocery shopping but those are things i need to get done so i kind of consider it like work you know sometimes i'll go a whole day and i'm just cleaning grocery shopping doing like the errands i need to get get down like going to appointments but then at the end of the day i'm like oh my god i didn't do like any work today but then i'm like wait doing all of that is doing work because it's stuff that needed it's stuff that needs to be done so yeah moral of the story is there's a lot to think about when you live alone in terms of you run the household um, like me and Joel have to do everything. We don't have parents to do it for us. So it's kind of funny, but I love it, obviously. Okay, so I just got home. The weather is literally white up here. Like, look at the sky. Like, where's the sky? It's just cloudy. I'm actually gonna open this set of blinds that we always keep shut. Because it is so dark in here. It's weird. I'm just not used to this weather, I guess. I feel like that helped brighten the space a little bit, but it's literally dark. Like, usually at this time when I'm in the kitchen, it's so bright. Actually, it's not that bad, but... Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a grocery haul. So, actually, let me unbag this first. Okay, so here's an overview grocery haul. So, I just got some baby arugula. I love putting this on random things like avocado toast sandwiches or whatever and then i got some green beans and then a huge thing of salad and then some bananas and then i actually got this maple um, salmon just to eat right now as a snack i got plain bagels just like a thing of shredded cheese i got two um butters i got chicken broth these are so good oh my goodness um and then i got english muffins Nan bread for the soup tonight, beans for the soup tonight. I got two things of chicken, one of them for the soup tonight. And then I just got this organic cheddar cheese to put in sandwiches and stuff. And then this no preservative turkey for sandwiches too. And then I got this natural cream cheese with some avocados, some peppers for the soup, onion for the soup. And yeah, I also got a kombucha to drink right now. <laughs> Welcome to my desk where I need to get shit done. I feel like the days have been passing me by like literally like that. I do not understand how it's already three o'clock. I don't understand, but I have like a full day's worth of editing to do. Actually, maybe not that much. I need to finish this video, upload it, make the thumbnail. And then I also need to um, make a video for my Patreon to go up this week and then edit that. I really do want to make the soup tonight. I'm actually really excited for it, but there is a lot to do. What else do I have to do? I have to look over contracts and it's crazy because I feel like I wake up early. Like my alarm is set for seven and even though I snooze it, I still do get out of bed like before eight and I still feel like the day just 
goes by like that like by the time i'm done my morning routine i feel like i take so long to do my morning routine but like i love my morning routine so i don't shorten it up but i think i just need to wake up earlier and that will help but i literally just cannot get myself to wake up earlier when it's dark especially when my alarm clock is the iphone like i don't know why that just doesn't do it for me so i'm definitely gonna look into getting a sunrise alarm clock because i feel like that would just help me so much i feel like i'm gonna try to wake up at six and then that'll give me an extra hour to the day i'm not a morning person though like i really want to be one i really do but i'm not and i want to kind of train myself to be one though i don't know how exactly i'm gonna do that i've heard that the sunrise alarm clock changed people's lives and they're like oh my god it's so much easier for me to wake up so i really hope that happens to me and i can, I can train myself to be a morning person because if i can wake up at six that would be ideal especially since it's like winter now the days are getting so much shorter and um we're losing i'm losing daylight to film and everything um sooner than the summer which really sucks so i feel like waking up and having that extra one hour in the morning will really help so i'm gonna try that maybe i'll do like a video on it like waking up at 6 a.m for a week or something and then seeing how i feel but anyways that leads me to editing i really need to edit this um while well, i drink my guava kombucha this one is so good this is my favorite kombucha brand by the way it's so freaking good this one's called guava goddess so good the mango one that they have actually all their flavors are just really good anyways let it lettuce lettuce do you want some lettuce let's edit <laughs> This is my weekly vlog that I'm editing, if you're curious. It's already up though, so go watch it if you have it. Can't set it for real now. Okay, you guys, it is time to wash my face. Today I just feel really weird. Like, I think it's because the days are getting really, like, a lot shorter. So it's kind of, like, messing with my mind because I can't even. Like, it's already 10 o'clock. I don't understand how, but I'm definitely going to do that waking up earlier thing because I feel like that will really help me. But I also think it's because the days are just getting, like, shorter in terms of, like, lighting and everything. So that's kind of messing with me, too. But let me know if you're feeling the same way because it's just been, like, weird and off lately. But I'm not excited for daylight savings when the time goes back because it's going to be so dark. But I did get quite a bit done today. Um, I got pretty much all my tasks done. Now I just need to... I'm like, I'm not even done for the day. I'm going to sit on the couch now because it is my relaxing time. I actually should be going to bed like right now, but I have like stuff to submit. So I need to do some editing, but yeah, I'm just going to wash my face because I want to be like ready for bed, but I already should be in bed by now. Like 10 o'clock is usually my bedtime, which is like really early now that I think about it. Look at my chin. There's like eczema on it. I've been like flaring up so bad but i have been using this cleanser by the inky list it's an oak cleansing balm instead of using my cellar water and i actually like it so much like it does a really good job at cleaning my face yeah it's made for sensitive skin because it has like oat in it and apparently it's like really good for like eczema prone skin dry skin and it's only 13 dollars i think for this whole thing like this is a pretty big thing this will at least last me like a month only $13 and I feel like other cleansing moms from Sephora are pretty expensive so if you guys have like dry, drier skin and you're looking for a cleansing balm, but yeah, it just feels really good and I feel like it helps my eczema because of the oat in it. This isn't the only product I've ever tried from the Inky List before. Let me know if you have other recommendations from them because they're pretty good from this one product I've tried, but that's what I've been using. So yeah, I'm just going to wash my face and then literally apply this huge thing of aquaphor on it like you guys saw in my last vlog. I literally have been applying these two 
onto my eczema patches and honestly it's been like helping but my eczema is still not going away so whatever it'll be fine we're manifesting it away <laughs>